But if you want to drive a car, we need a photo of your normal face. Huh? No creative license? <laughs> Correct. Your driver's license should be anything but creative. <laughs> Stop that! That's my normal face, though! No, it's not. <laughs> Are you trying to drive me up a wall? No! I'm trying to drive a car down the road! <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't get excited. So we've managed to cover almost everything on the checklist. Your turn signals and mirrors look good. Heck yeah, my mirrors look good. They look real good. <laughs> that was so funny, I forgot to laugh. Now, the last item on this checklist, I need to see you parallel park. What's that? You don't know what parallel parking is? It's when you park alongside of a street. No, that! That's a second break. Driver's ed cars have them installed. I'll use it if your driving eh, gets out of control. Whoa! Slow down, full stop! There are two brakes in this car? Yes, I know it's very exciting. Now, are you listening to me? We have to parallel park. Okay, let me see if I got this straight. If I were to drive like this... Hey, 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 hey! You'll use the brake to make sure we don't hit that wall right ahead of us? I've got a question, are you insane? Nope, I'm an orange. <laughs> oh! That was fun. <laughs> oh, that was not fun. You cannot just sit there, drive around like a crazy madman like that and expect me to save us with my second break every single time. Yes, I can. Watch. <laughs> Who are you, Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Are you insane? Slow down. Orange! Orange, do not drive towards me. <laughs> See? All safe and sound. That's it. Out of the car. Now. Uh, I don't know how. I've never driven a car. You don't need to have driven a car to know how to open a door. Now get out. Is this the doorknob? No, that, no that's the door lock. Mm -mm. Is this the doorknob? No, oh, you bumbling fool, that's the ignition. Is this the doorknob? You just put the car in drive. You know very well that isn't the doorknob. <laughs> Is this the doorknob? <laughs> that's the gas pedal. Orange, do not drive towards that wall. Don't you do it. No! What the? How? How's this for driving you up the wall? <laughs> What the fruit? That's it. I give up. Orange, get out of that car right this instant. You, you. Yes? You actually did a perfect parallel parking job. Oh, so do I get my license? Oh, heavens no. Hey, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Ooh, what does this do? Out. I swear, you are the most ridiculous, irresponsible, dense, annoying little... Airbag? Yes, you're an annoying airbag. Now, if you'll excuse me... No! Airbag! Huh? Ah! Whoa! Are you okay? I'll be fine. I'm a tough nut to crack. No, oh, and I'm stuck. You're stuck in the wall? Oh, gee, I don't know. Yes! Does this make you, uh... Orange, don't you dare say it! Walnut? Ah! Hey there, fruit lovers! This week, Rads Vandenberg wants to know how to drive. You came to the right place, Rads! Pear's an expert driver! I am? Yep! You've been driving me bonkers for years! <laughs> yeah, yeah, right back at you, Orange! All right, step one. Grab the steering wheel at 10 o'clock and at 2 o'clock. Now those are the only times you can grab it. Any other time in the steering wheel will electrocute you. No, Orange. Those just refer to the positions your hands go on the wheel. See? 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Oh, I get it. So if you put your hands in the wrong position on the wheel, that's when you get electrocuted. <laughs> no, dude. Nobody gets electrocuted from a steering wheel. Oh, well that's boring. <laughs> Moving on. Step two, accelerating. Push the gas pedal with your foot. And press the NOS button with your thumb. <laughs> NOS? What are you talking about, NOS? You know, the nitrous oxide system they have on the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Dude, we're teaching the basics of driving. Nobody here is ready for NOS. Okay, gotcha. Just the easy stuff. 
Okay, let's start with jumps then. Step three, when jumping your car over a canyon. Orange, we haven't even covered windshield wipers yet. We are not ready to be jumping cars over canyons. Well, not with that attitude. Can we please keep this thing between the lines, Orange? Great idea, Pear. Step four, keep it between the lines. <laughs> That's right. Keep both eyes on the road so you don't accidentally swerve out of your lane. Keep both eyes on the road? Really? Well, sure. Why wouldn't you? Well, won't they get dirty and scraped up down there? <laughs> Dude, it's a figure of speech. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> get it? I? Yes, yes. Very funny. <laughs> okay, wow. Is it really that funny? I don't know. I think I might have accidentally inhaled a little too much nitrous oxide. <laughs> Great. Orange is on laughing gas. Just what the world needs. Also, helium. Sweet. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this thing up. Good idea. conference lasts a whole week. You gotta pace yourself. I can't! Oh, I'm gonna wet myself! I just know it! And guess what? I don't even care! Hey, wanna try Oculus Rift? Wired Magazine called it 2014's must-have item. What? What's that? It's a hat of lettuce headset. Head on over and let us show you what it can do. <laughs> Count me in! But wait, you haven't tried Dr. Banana's driverless car! Perfect for those of us who can't get driver's license because of our lack of arms. <laughs> Wait, I don't have arms! Oh, this product is totally for me! Uh oh, but have you tried my driverless car? What's so great about your car, Orange? Oh, uh, nothing much. It's just that mine has flames! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm myself! I don't understand. I thought I had invented something no one else could possibly copy. What did you use for the onboard auto traffic detect feature? Duct tape. And what on earth did you use for the computerized intra-vehicle communication system? Duct tape. But what about the... No, no, no. Whatever you're about to say, I assure you, the answer is duct tape. Yeah, uh, I'm beginning to wonder if your car is really all that great, Orange. Agree. Well, it's not as though everything is made out of duct tape. Oh, yeah? Name one thing. <laughs> These flames. Am I right? Seriously, people, I spent the last seven years of my life perfecting the nanotechnology included in the drivetrain. And it's flame decals that get you idiots ooing and eyeing. True or false, Dr. Bananas? Your car has zero flames on it. That is, in fact, correct, but... He said, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it in action, Orange. Oh, I thought you guys would never ask. Who wants to take the first test ride? Oh, oh right. me! Let's let's me! I don't want to do it! Come on! Come on. Hey, hey. Oh, you got it. I pick Apple. Me? Seriously? Yes! Things are finally coming up. Ah! Oh, man. I was feeling pretty awesome about my Wobble Tangerine cosplay until this moment. Hmm. Well, I guess there was a malfunction with my car. Too bad. Well, it looks as though I now have the only driverless car at the conference. What are you talking about? I have, like, a hundred of these things. Huh? Who's next? Me! Oh, you big thing! You stupid! Me! 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 It can detect something as small as a fly in its path. Oh, yeah? Can it detect this? Warning. Vehicle approaching. No! My work! It's ruined! Sorry! That was the car's fault! Sorry. Guess the duct tape bumper didn't really do its job. Where do I buy one of these, Orange? I'll pay any price! Oh, really? Would you pay with your life? Gladly! Oh! So worth it! System operational. Wait! Wait, my car's gonna be all right! Yeah! America! Yeah! What up, what up, what up, real lovers? It's your boy, Little Apple. And me, regular-sized orange. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hope everyone's hyped for today's episode, because today we're showing you how to drive a monster truck. Yeah, I'd say we're in for a wheelie good time. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? Do you tire of my jokes? <laughs> yes, I do! Now then! 
You ready to take it for a spin? Sure am. Let's get trucking. All right then, first things first. If you're gonna drive a monster truck, you're gonna want a helmet and a fireproof suit. Safety equipment, schmafety equipment. I only drive monster trucks in the nude. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Dude, why wouldn't you wear the safety gear? Who are you trying to impress? Oh, you know, the chicks. I've heard monster trucks are a chick magnet. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be real impressed when your butt catches on fire. Oh, don't worry, I had Mexican earlier, so my butt's way ahead of ya. <laughs> okay, step two is to climb into the monster truck. Now these trucks sit super high off the ground, so it's a really complicated process getting up into the sun. Wait, you're already in? Yeah, it wasn't that high. Not for a regular sized orange like me anyway. <laughs> yeah, orange. Steps two through eight are all gonna be about climbing into the monster truck. It takes me like 20 minutes to get up there. Guess you'll have to wing it. Am I right, chickies? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, after you're inside the monster truck, the next step is to put on your six part seatbelt system. A six part seatbelt system? I'm bored even thinking about counting that high. Besides, remember what I said about driving in the nude? Yes, I remember. It's gonna haunt my dreams for years to come. Can't hear you. Figured out the ignition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next you'll wanna familiarize yourself with the controls. Familiarize, familiarize. How hard can it be? Steering wheel, gas pedal, plus I'm not encumbered by any clothing, so this will be a real breeze. Um, actually it's really complicated. There's front and rear wheel steering. Oh, wow, truck yeah. <laughs> uh, orange, look out for that. Yeah. Oh, I did it. I survived and I didn't lose any non-existent limbs. <laughs> and we're all super glad to hear it. Anyway, that brings us to the final step. Learn how to fix and maintain your monster truck because if you're gonna drive them hard, they're gonna break down a lot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fun and all, but I'm gonna pop over and check in with the chat. Orange, come back here and fix my truck. Can't hear you, no ears. <laughs> ah! Hey there, chicks. You see me driving that monster truck? Oh, you noticed my butt? And you think it looks hot. Well, I guess little Apple was wrong about me wearing all that dumb old safety equipment. No, I was right. Wait, what the? Ah! Ah, ah, put it out, put it out. Find some water. Oh, it's okay, all better now. Found something even better than water. Ah! Welcome racers to another day at the track. This is Polly and Patty. Coming at you live from the peanut gallery. Let's get down to the starting line to meet our contenders. This is ridiculous! I was told there'd be go-karts! Not go-karts! Yep, I really pulled the wool over your eyes. <laughs> you got it all wrong! That's sheep, not goat! Oh, my bad! <laughs> Shut up, noob! You're scaring my goat! Ow! You little bumps running around with the big dog! Woo! What do you expect from a brag racer? <laughs> huh, huh, what? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Old Bro's carrot and corn dog are leading the snack pack. Yep, looks like this race will come down to the carrot or the stick. You're going down, C Dog. Eat dirt, Tassel Top. Ah, slow down! Slow down! What? Huh? Out of nowhere, it's Midget Apple. Well, he is the lightest of the bunch. Beep, 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 beep. Are you seriously honking at me? What? I have to. His horn's broken. <laughs> oh, let me show you how those work. <laughs> under, under. Nobody gives Gorn the horn. Yeah, well, first you need to catch up. <laughs> ah, little help, anybody? He means Midget help. That goat's got a lot of horsepower. Already lapping the competition. Looks more like a runaway goat to me. Time to send in the clown. Here goatsy, goatsy. Here goatsy. Here go. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Whoa! Ah! I think I'm okay. But I might have busted a nut. And an already tight race just got tighter. Speed! I need more speed! No worries, Wiener. I got your back. <laughs> Oh. Hey, we put a stick up your butt. <laughs> oh yeah, I got this one sold up. What the? Oh, 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 oh. Not cool, Cito. Just keeping it real, bro. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for the great idea, corn dog. Doom and doom. Oh. 
Uh oh. Whoa! Motor goat! No, 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 now that's what I call a bailout. <laughs> and there you have it, a three-way tie. Can you believe it? Wow, well, I'm literally shell-shocked. Uh, tell me about it. Do you do, fruit lovers? I'm Orange. I'm Bear. And today we're showing you how to get a driver's license, which is great because I've been meaning to get one of those. You don't have a driver's license? Well, that's surprising. Why, because I've driven cars in countless videos? No, because you drive me crazy every single day. <laughs> Good one, Bear. Yeah, I'm not joking. Good old Bear, always with the jokes. Okay, so what do I do first? Step one is to study up on the rules of the road. <laughs> Easy. Green means go, red means stop, and orange means you're super awesome! <laughs> That's yellow, dude. What about signs? Do you know what this one means? Sure I do. That's a drunk arrow. Slow children at play. That's a truck going off a sweet ramp in reverse. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say driver's ed could really help you out. I don't know. Who's this ed and where is he driving me? <laughs> uh, now, once you've passed your driver's education course, it's time for step two. Get your driver's license photo taken. Oh, man. I'm going to take the funniest photo ever. <laughs> no, no, orange, stop. No props. But, 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 but. Not even my rainbow clown wig? No, your driver's license photo should be serious. Most people don't even smile. All right, don't worry, I won't smile, but I will make other faces. <laughs> Orange. No, 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 no. Orange. Orange. Oh, how handsome. <laughs> oh, so can I drive now? Is the episode over? You can drive, but there's one more step. Getting a driver's license is only half the battle. You have to make sure to keep your driver's license by obeying all traffic laws. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, the light's yellow. That means peel out. <laughs> license and registration, please. Mr. Orange, do you know why I pulled you over? No, officer, why? Because your driver's license photo is too darn handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. Great picture, man. I see a lot of these things, and it really takes the cake. Hey, you know what else takes the cake? A thief who likes sweets, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, this was fun. You have a nice day. Good morning, fruit lovers. It is I, Grapefruit. And I, Little Apple. We're taking over today's episode to show you how to get a cool car. Obviously, they invited you to host because you're the expert in cars. And they invited me because I'm the expert in cool. Yeah, whatever you say, Grapefruit. Let's begin by painting the scene. There you are on the car lot. There I am. You found your absolute dream car. Yep. But the sticker price is way too high! Sure, but what doesn't seem too high to you? <laughs> but not to worry, my diminutive friend. If you follow these simple steps, we'll have you cruising off the car lot in no time. Can't wait! Step one, butter up the car salesman a bit. Good call! What do you think? Maybe compliment his haircut? Tell him you like his tie? Did you listen to a word I said? I said butter him up! Ow! That's it. Get him good and greased up. If he likes it, that's good. He'll probably give you the car cheap. Um, what if he doesn't like it? If he doesn't like it, add more butter. Soon he'll be too slippery to stop you from driving away in the car of your dreams. There you go. Drive safe, little buddy. Um, Grapefruit, I think I'd rather pay for the car before I drive away in it. <sighs> I see. You're one of those people. Okay, fine. Step two, play highball. Yeah, that's it. I'll play hardball. Haggle the price down. Point out anything that might be wrong with the car? Whoa, 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 please stop. Just to stop. I know you don't have ears, but listen. You need to play hardball. Um, grapefruit, why do we have bats? Go on, tell the salesman you're a Major League Baseball player. He'll probably knock a few bucks off the price if he thinks you're famous. Oh, okay, that's better. For a second, I thought you were gonna suggest we use the bats to intimidate him. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. You're way too small to intimidate anyone. <laughs> Of course, there's a chance the salesman isn't into baseball. In that case, it's time for step three. Turn on the waterworks. That's brilliant. I'll start crying and give him a sob story about how I really need the car for cheap 
Little Apple, <laughs> would you listen to the words I am saying to you? I said turn on the waterworks! I, I guess I, I don't know what that is. The knob! Turn it on! Go, go, go! Oh, okay. Great work! See all that water damage? The brace is falling so fast it's gonna need a parachute! <laughs> uh, grapefruit, this isn't working for me! Don't worry about it. I have like 50 more steps we can try if this doesn't work. No! I mean, I'm not trying to trick anybody into getting my dream car! I wanna earn my dream car! Fair and square! I don't understand. Yeah, see you around! I'm gonna go do some chores and start saving up my money! Like that'll ever work! Hey, you! You're gonna have to pay for the damage you did to this car! <laughs> Me? Sorry, sir, I promise I had nothing to do with it. Do me a favor and turn off the waterworks, pal. Sir, these dance are genuine. I'm not faking. No, I really mean it. You gotta turn off the waterworks now. Huh? Ah! No!